<laughs> welcome into the hourglass happy birthday to the virgos you guys i just had to hit that uh song bold you know trying to clear the energy we have this nine nine portal today and a lot of harsh powerful energies is being unfold a lot of people that are not aware or unconscious you're gonna feel extreme anxiety and not feeling like yourself and you could always transmute that all right you could always close out that energy with will and intention all right so any type of malignant or energy vampire energetic vampires or psychic attacks please protect yourself you could submerge yourself in an epsom salt bath or you could literally set the intention to close out that energy or portal that may be around you now a lot of times you know portals affect people differently portals are like vents in your your um your rooms you know it's where the energy is dispersed the earth energy is being dispersed and it's allowing some sort of relief to flow in and out all right some sort of uh energetic circulation to help mother earth you know become balanced and strong and um, vitalized all right so you know it depends on the dominant energy around pro, uh, around portals so again it could be really positive or it could be really harsh and dark so take that into consideration portals affect everybody differently as well uh, and again it could be liberating for a lot of you you know you're releasing all types of blockages energetic dreams as well to reclaim some sort of true freedom and realign you with divine source of love peace and joy there's a couple DNA activations going on I just did a divine masculine energy tap that wave of divine masculines was in a distorted masculine energy so if you're interested in that check that out all right, so let's see what's going on. I just want to see what's unfolding so it may or may not resonate with each and every one of you, and that's okay. Plenty other readers on YouTube. I'm trying not to do part ones and part twos. I'm trying to stay in this 42 limit. There goes the divine masculine. So now we have a wave of masculine, divine masculine. This is masculine energy that's standing in their divinity, very powerful in this inner knowing. It's a, a strong gut instinct here. Oh, wow. This divine masculine looks really strong. It's a lot of wisdom. Your divine masculine may be kind of spiraling up at this time. They are woke. We have love. Wow. So this wave of divine masculine, I'm getting chills on my shoulders, my forearm. So this particular wave of divine masculine, uh, they're permeating in love. Love is like streaming through this divine masculine's body. They're making, it's like making them more wise and having this higher perspective. perspective. So this divine masculine may be looking at things from a different angle when it comes to love. Some of you, I feel like this divine masculine has been dreaming a lot and they have been seeing you in a silhouette form. They could have been dreaming about you from an early age dreaming about this uh perfect love companion perfect in their eyes i'm not saying you're perfect you don't have no flaws but perfect for them so this divine mask is sensitive they're spiritual and they're intuitive and i feel like they're working on their approaches on how to express something here with the eagle they could be looking for an opportunity here or creating opportunities this divine masculine is moving mountains and they're using their love or unconditional love or love of their divine feminine internally and externally i'm seeing that this divine masculine uh they're creating or achieving something really beautiful and it's helping them to feel more safe in love in the energy of love I'm hearing that they're harnessing healthier ways when it comes to love. So they're creating structure out of a place of love. Something about everything this divine masculine touches, maybe in the past it kind of decayed and died, but I feel like they're giving life. So you could be a divine feminine and you're nurturing or you're healing your divine masculine energy, your divine masculinity, or this could literally be your divine masculine that's kind of like, ruminating in the love that you guys share i feel like in the past they were very dominating or controlling and i feel like they're now seeing that as a weakness i'm seeing the pyramids in the back so they're learning that that was oppressive and they need to be more nurturing and uh supportive of the feminine energy or uh, divine feminine energy the, I'm, i got that phrase 
well done is better than well said. So this divine masculine is all about action, not about talking. <laughs> They're all about creation and creating. So this could be a divine masculine that may be feeling very loving to uh, create or procreate. Or they're just in this energy of manifesting and creating, working on things because of the love that they may be feeling. I'm feeling like heart full. Their heart is filled right now. So divine masculine, divine feminine, if this is an equally yoked twin flame dynamic, it is recognized by the most high. Everything that you endure or you go through, it's trial and error. You meet these twin flames to kind of break out of paradigms, glass ceilings. That's keeping you back from your full potential, your highest expression of oneself, all right? So again, it's more than just physical union. It's about healing and raising the vibration, all right? Holding space, trusting oneself regardless of the naysayers and the haters. Tapping into love and feeling um, strong in it, not weak. All right. So this is a divine mask that's moving beyond uh, looking at love as a weakness, oppression of the feminine energy. So love is here to save the day is what I got. This divine mask may be meditating or every time they close their eyes, they see their, op their object of affection, their divine feminine. They want to feel love, pure, raw energy. So this may be a divine masculine like that loves raw sex as well. This is a form of connecting. They want to make love. Love is in the air and this divine masculine is breathing it in. This is a nine nine portal. It affects everybody differently. Your divine masculine may be getting very practical or realistic on, on uh, the topic of love. They're realizing how amazing they feel when they're vibrating in this love energy, when they're in alignment with love. Uh, I feel like your divine masculine are looking for loving uh, relationships that um, allow them to breathe, allow them to think and to grow. They want to provide nourishment. This is a provider in this healthy divine masculine energy. Uh, they believe or they're connecting in universal love and it's guiding them uh, every step of the way to become greater or to have this greater force of creation. So some of you are dealing with a divine masculine that gets it. They're very strong and regal. This could be a divine masculine that looks at themselves as roy royalty. They know their bloodline. They have a higher perspective of things. They see things from a different angle. All right, so let's see. I'm, I'm loving it so far. Let's see what their angels and guardians have to say about this particular wave of divine masculine. Now is not the right time, and we have abundance showing up. So the abundance card showed up in the uh, distorted masculine energy tap, and it had no. And now we have not the right time. So... Um, in the first reading I did, it talks about trust from this deck. And I was saying, you know, we all have to trust that amazing things are being unfolded uh, for us. It's destiny. It's our birthright. But we are not supposed to know uh, all the answers right now. So your guardians, your spirit team, they could be keeping a low profile or keeping things in a mysterious way. And it's because they want us to kind of like step out on faith and to trust our heart and follow through so even though we are we're um we're over the angels uh they still have um <laughs> they still have laws and rules to allow us to kind of do the work so even though you know you have your guardians your ancestors your angelic team spirit team what have you they sometimes need us to do the work all right we have unlikely, all right? So we're about to see what that could be. Uh, we're going to bust down the tarot. I'm trying to do this in the 42-minute frame. So excuse me if I'm speaking really fast. It's just so much transmissions or messages coming through. So we have love and unlikely, and I'm seeing uh, what planet is that? Let me see. So, you know, we kind of like... We kind of like um, pay attention to seven different planets and I'm feeling like that's Venus above the head hair. So unlikely maybe coming up because whatever, however this divine masculine or divine feminine may have pictured things to happen or imagine it, it may be different. So things are not set in stone when it comes to love or loving relationships uh, or even um, anesthetics. All right. So 
I feel like this abundance, this divine masculine is looking forward to or being receptive in this feminine energy. I feel like it's going to pop up or come very differently. I feel like your divine masculine may be focusing on um, opportunities, but again, they need to look at things in a different way or different opportunities is going to come in from what this divine masculine expected. So for some of you, this divine masculine had an expectation of love or how a loving relationship should look like. And I feel like that's not how it's going to come in. All right. It's going to come in very differently uh, as well. And it's going to be more uplifting if this divine masculine could be more open on what they imagine things to be. So again, some of your divine masculines, you may not have met this divine masculine yet, but they have been dreaming about their divine feminine, but in a uh, so silhouette form. So they see your figure, they see an outline of you. Uh, but I feel like how you're going to show up or how things are going to unfold, they never would expect it to be that way. So not the right time. Things could be happening in this divine masculine's life to kind of delay things. I feel like this is a very strong, determined masculine that we're talking about. And I feel like the ethers right now is trying to hold them back. Uh, their guardians, their spirit team, Maybe trying to hold them back because it's not the right time to kind of uh, claim this abundance. All right, so uh, it's not a no, but it's not not it's it's not a no, but it's not yet. And this divine masculine needs to have patience. All right, it's just not the right timing. It's just not all right to accept this abundance or to be welcoming to it. So let's see how is this divine masculine feeling about themselves. I'm hearing alternative path or hair, or there needs to be an alternative. It's like they have like this certain look of things and they need to be more receptive to alternative things here. We have comfort. So we have a divine masculine that's very powerful, very regal. They feel very important as well, but um, <laughs> they're kind of stifling themselves with something that they're in a comfort zone. I feel like there's a security blanket or a comfort zone that they're, they're staying in. They're cycling in and it's bringing some sort of uh, stifling. It's like hard to breathe. Some of you, this divine masculine would like you to know that they can't breathe when you're not around. Uh, they just feel like sick or they just don't feel like themselves. They don't feel as powerful or complete when their divine feminine's love is gone. We have discouraged. So they may be uh, choosing to cop out and remain in a comfort zone because they feel uh, very discouraged to move beyond it. I feel in their instinct, their natural gut instinct, they know it's not time or the appropriate time to kind of do what they have. In pl they have a plan here. All right. And they feel pretty confident and proud, but something deep inside of them, I feel like the ether is, is creating situations to delay this divine masculine. And at times they get very, very discouraged about love. So you may be have, you may be, um, your divine masculine, you may know this person, uh, and they're looking for the love of their life and they keep running into situation because they could feel a little impatient or they have like this certain outlook or idea and how this person, this special person, their divine feminine is supposed to look. And they may choose who they think uh, fits their description, but it's not that it's not is they're guessing wrong. And I feel like they're going through this because the ethers is trying to teach this divine masculine that is alternative ways to doing things. Hey, and it's not the right time. You're not fully prepared to accept this fullness of love, this abundance of love, divine masculine. So even though things may be happening in the ethers to stop you or you're getting bumps and bruises, hey, it's not asking you to fall back into a comfort zone. No, it's asking you to be reassured that it's just not the time yet. It's not a no, but it's just not yet. And have patience, divine masculine. If this is you, have patience. Again, divine masculine could be male or female. Let's see what's going on. How does this divine masculine feel about their potential divine feminine? It feels like they have not yet recognized you. They're getting close, frustrated. They're frustrated that they have not yet met you. It's too many blockages. It's too many things that's blocking this divine masculine. But it's for their own safety. Oh my goodness, they're not getting it. They just feel like time is running out. So you may be dealing with a divine masculine that's 28 to 40. They may feel like they're uh, running out or they're running out of patience because they keep choosing uh, 
it's like a glass slipper. It's like something like Cinderella. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're just exhausted and frustrated, frustrated with all of these delays. They know something deep is head. They're getting warmer. I could tell you that. Warm. They're getting very warm. Let's see how they're feeling about their divine feminine. They're excited. I'm telling you, they could feel it. Energetically, they feel their counterpart close. They just have a certain type. And I feel like these types is not their type. <laughs> they think they, they think they are, but they're not. And this is why they're feeling discouraged because the more that they try to push this uh, certain look or this image of love or their divine feminine, the more that they meet people that hmm, causes bumps and bruises. Have patient divine masculine. What you feel is true, but the way how you're looking at, you're standing in the wrong spot, possibly, all right? One more card. Let's see how they feel about not the right timing other than frustrated. They're trusting it in some way. All right. Disappointed. Yeah. They're dating a certain uh, person or particular type. This could be opposite attracts and it's just not compatible. In the long run, it's just not compatible. It's no similarity of goals or missions or purpose. Hey, it feels like it's not compatible when it comes to love or there's different love languages in these certain types of feminine energy that this divine masculine may be choosing. So right now they feel discouraged. They feel disappointment. They feel like they want to let go of this quest of finding this love. So it's almost like when you stop looking, there it is, right? So this, this divine masculine is looking for an Aphrodite, a, a Makeda, a Queen of Sheba. They're looking for someone that matches their royalty, that matches their spiritual growth. And again, opposite may attract her. So we may be dealing with a Libra with a Aries or a Leo with Aquarius and whatever opposite attracts. I mean, there's an attraction, but it's highly unlikely that there would be a fullness of love. You get what I'm saying? So there may be no emotional depth here. And this is kind of like disappointing, discouraging and frustrating this particular divine masculine that's coming through. All right, so let's see. This is all transmission. I'm broadcasting from my heart, so I'm reading from the heart space. This is someone that has a lot of passion and a lot of love, and they want to share their life with someone. They're, they're feeling like they're ready, getting very serious about commitment, about having a happy home. But it's just not time yet. <laughs> There's some more preparation needing to be done, Divine Masculine. So the weight is not punishment. The weight is to, to prepare, use preparation. We're going to drop some Zodiac name calling. <clears throat> we have the Three of Cups. So they could be hanging around people that <laughs> are oppressing the feminine energy. We have the Seven of Wands. So the Three of Cups could talk about Cancer and energy. does not have to be. That could be a season and when something popped off. We have the Seven of Wands. That could talk about... A very feisty Sagittarius, uh, no, not Sagittarius, a very feisty uh, Aries or Leo. Very feisty Leo. King of Cups, all right? So we have someone that's very emotional, very sensitive. Five of Swords, I'm going to talk about that when all the cards come out. We're doing something a little different today. We have uh, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> and we have the Tower. There's a revelation here. We have the three of pentacles. There's a lot of people involved. So this divine masculine could be very popular. This divine masculine could be kind of like the leader in their friend group or everybody just looks up to this divine masculine. Uh, there is something here. Your divine masculine is very sensitive. This divine masculine, I'm saying you're, but this divine masculine is ultra sensitive. They're very emotional, but they know how to control themselves. They have a very strong psychic or very strong natural gut instinct, a very strong knowing I know you if I see you anyway so you know this divine masculine could be very raw I feel like they like to have unprotected sex or raw sex this is a divine masculine that connects sexually they love love making they love a lot of intense orgasm <laughs> Mm. you know this divine masculine they know you you guys work together or you guys have the same friend group so it's almost like you have met the partner that you seek but 
there is complications here. This divine masculine could have met their divine feminine, but it's very challenging partnership or friendship here. I feel like this divine masculine already met their divine feminine, but she or he may be in a queen of swords energy. Very smart, intellectual, very challenging. This could be a divine feminine that's very objective, unbiased as well, and very clear thinking. This divine masculine has been pushing or very defensive against this divine feminine for a long time. And I feel it's because this divine masculine's charm does not uh, sway this very intellectual divine feminine. You know, ever since they met each other, there was a lot of triggering moments, a lot of tower moments. You know, meeting this divine feminine has created a lot of revelations in this divine masculine's life. So there's a lot of trust with this divine feminine, but because of the uh, five of swords energy, it's a lot of power struggles and clashes. And I feel like this is why this divine masculine is not recognizing their divine feminine. All right. This may be a divine feminine. This could be your energy or your person's energy. This divine feminine is very open to debates. This is someone that you could reason with or has the last say. This divine masculine may not like that because it triggers their vulnerability. This divine masculine is very emotional when it comes to this queen of swords. This queen of swords energy could be... Um, hmm. Uh, Libra Virgo cusp or Virgo Libra cusp. So this could be a perfectionist or very perfect or it triggers this divine masculine to be on their P's and Q's. Very critical at times or this divine masculine is perceiving this divine feminine as very critical. This divine ma feminine could be very critical of his or herself. All right. I feel like whatever information or intellectual conversation reasonings you guys have, it brings a lot of tower moments. So this divine masculine may have thought they knew what love and um, certain things were. But this divine feminine, when she speaks here, she speaks and bring this truth. They have like it blows their mind and whatever they thought to be true is now uh, has been exposed or blown apart to smithereens. So this divine feminine may shatter a lot of this divine masculine's so-called truth. I feel like this divine masculine meeting this divine feminine brought a lot of awareness to their friend group. A lot of um, truth about why they're so defensive about their vulnerability of emotions. This divine masculine meeting this divine feminine, they feel like a better person, a better masculine energy. Bring some sort of balance to them when they feel emotionally uh, chaotic or turbulent. Hey. Some of you, this divine masculine may be getting this revelation after there was a walking away or moving on. So it's almost like you don't miss the water until the well runs dry. You don't miss this person's value until they're no longer there, until, they're, until they are a memory. So this divine masculine may have a ocean of memories with this queen of swords and it's only after this queen of swords or this divine feminine walked away they now understand who this person was but it's almost like they're keeping a tight lip it's like you're the one that got away this divine feminine is the one that got away now they want to figure out how could we work together some of you this divine masculine may be using gems or uh, certain types of truth or facts to kind of like rebuild or revamp themselves. So this divine masculine is coming to this revelation that this queen of swords or their divine feminine, uh, even though they were pushing you away or they felt really attacked by your intellect or your expertise, you were really unbiased and objective. You were just given you, you were just given your facts or truth, but this divine masculine may have felt very attacked by you. And again, it's because you kind of challenged what they think they knew. All right. So they still have more preparation. They still have to rebuild or revamp or rework from a truer sense of self. And this is why we have not just it's not the time yet. It's not right now. It's not a no. And again, they had a certain outlook on how their perfect partner, they have been dreaming about their divine feminine from a, for a long time, just seeing the silhouette of her him or her and it's like now they have to stand in a different point in their life to see 
that there's an alternate or alternative love hand. So it's like I was seeing you, I was dreaming about you all my life, but I thought it was this particular type of feminine energy and it, it just never worked out. It was disappointments after disappointments. And now I have met the one that I saw in my dreams. I feel attacked because it's just not what I imagine it to be. So this divine masculine has met their divine feminine in a more unusual, an alternative way from what they were expecting. <laughs> I feel like this divine masculine was really hyper alert and they were defensive for half of their life because of how emotional and sensitive they are. This person feels things very deeply and they kept people at arm's length or, uh, uh, you know, they always have this defense energy about themselves. And this queen of swords may have brought it up, may have outed them, may have decided to move on or jump ship because this was not it. And it has humbled this divine masculine. Now it's like, I want to talk to you. I want to work with you. I know who you are. I know who you are. There could be a lot of gossiping around this couple or this connection. Or people talk about this divine feminine and this divine masculine. They shut down emotionally. They don't show any emotions when this divine feminine's name is being brought up. All right. There was a lot of ego clashes and that kind of put this divine masculine on the defense because of the clashing. They didn't see an opportunity to grow hair or rebuild hair. So whatever happened, somebody's queen of swords may have had no choice but to walk away with the five of swords. It was just too much. Let me see if I have any notes about that. Hold on. Hold on, cheekies. Hold on. So this 99 portal is a I I uh an eye opener for this divine masculine that's coming through. I feel like with the five of swords being close to the queen of swords, this queen of swords was extremely brutally honest, brutally honest, and that caused a lot of tower moments, triggers, and revelations in this divine masculine's life. It's like whatever they thought a man was supposed to be or a masculine energy was supposed to be, that uh, assumption or that sort of illusion of truth has been ripped the fuck down. All right, so this divine masculine may have been in an illusion about this relationship or friendship for a long time, and I feel like now it's, come, it's being exposed or it's collapsing I feel like uh, your divine, this divine masculine has been covering up their emotions with a lot of words or, wor or beating around the bush uh, with telling the truth. I feel like this divine masculine has been hiding their true emotions. I feel like because there was such so much trigger in him, this divine masculine uh, may have had a lot of rushed thinking. And because of this rushed thinking or, you know, a harmful word or harsh words, it kind of like, it kind of triggered this queen of swords to kind of turn her, his or her back. So it's like no talking, no explanation. So, and it emotionally disturbed this divine masculine. It kind of like discouraged him or her. And now they're like sitting in this passion, this devotion. They have become matured, hey, uh, emotionally matured or psychically strong, very moody. I feel like this person is really trying to control their emotions. They're feeling really unbalanced and triggered between this queen of swords energy. <laughs> this queen of swords has a way, could be very diplomatic, but has a very brutally brutal way of being honest. And that shook this divine masculine to the core. Uh, this queen of swords could be someone that overthinks or could be over emotional at times when it comes to the truth or facts. I'm also feeling like you could be cold hearted if you're in this queen of swords, when you had enough of the bullshit or the mind games, you come very cold and clay. It's like when you make a decision, you take some time, but when you make that final decision, that's it. It's like the line has been drawn. Some of you are still very open to talk to this divine masculine. You're still very open to hear their truth of how they really feel or what's triggering them. They feel like you're cold hearted or this is what they, this is what they perceive this divine feminine to be for a long time. 
but there is love and trust. See, the more honest you are with this divine masculine, the truth hurts or their emotions are affected, but they trust and love the honesty coming from this queen. Some of you are really critical or they, they, they see this divine feminine as overcritical on themselves. Oh my goodness. Some of you may be single mothers or single fathers in the queen of swords. You're very truthful and you could be very protective of yourself. And this is where the cold energy comes from. I'm hearing you too cold. You're dangerous and cold. <laughs> you state your truth with no emotion. And that triggers this divine masculine. It's like your words hurt this divine masculine very easily. So you may have called out this divine masculine because there were no conversations or communication. And you may have just stated what you wanted to say and you walked away. You moved on or you became very cold hearted and this triggered this divine masculine very deeply. They feel like they may have, uh, they have lost you or you're the one that got away. So you may have brought awareness to this divine masculine self-sabotaging, uh, reality here i guess they were living in some sort of false reality this could have been a divine masculine that was into polygamy or threesomes doesn't have to be or they thought that having more than one person was fine that was a illusion with the tower the three of cups could talk about cheating or excessive cheating some of you may have been dealing with a divine masculine that cheated on an ex-partner and it, that stress caused this person to lose a baby or they lost a child due to, um, I just feel like they were not as loving as they are now. So you may have taught this masculine to be, to step into their sacred divinity after years of, uh, cheating, history of cheating or, a history of just, uh, what do you call a casual dating party life. These people walked away from this divine masculine, very disappointing, uh, dating history that they may have had. They could have been married or they could have been engaged. And that person walked away from them because they were just, um, they just wanted to win. They could have been very self-centered in the past and meeting you, you kind of like you were br brutally honest. That's some bullshit. And they kind of felt very defensive. They felt like you always attack them with your words. It could even be that you have good communication skills. The way how you say the words that you use was triggering this divine masculine. It, they felt poked at. They felt like you were just literally poking them with a stick. So they may have had a negative outlook on this queen of swords in the beginning. They couldn't see the truth from the beginning. And it may have broken an engagement or a union here or connection. This divine masculine watched this queen of swords walk away and terminate everything. You know, when the queen of swords has enough, that's it. It's like moving on. Like I never did know you. Like you didn't even exist. So this queen of swords may have triggered this divine masculine to question their existence over appearances. Talk about it. So... I feel like there's going to be a revelation. I feel like this King of Cups is going to surprise this Queen of Swords with the Three of Pentacles attitude. So there could be some other people involved or around that knows about this connection. For some of you, this uh, King of Cups is going to surprise you with wanting to be more of a team player or be more dedicated. Or they're going to surprise you with paying attention to something so they may be paying attention to the queen of swords and like collecting this data, kind of uh, remaining emotionally unbothered, but they're, they're collecting, they're paying attention. So where there were no goals, I feel like this divine masculine, the king of cups, they're going to surprise this queen of swords with a commitment. Now it's not going to resonate with each and every one of you. Let's get some channel messages and close this up. Sorry, bumping my setup there. What does this... Uh, divine masculine want to tell their divine feminine about the love and trust that they feel. So they may have an emotional confession to make to the queen of swords, letting her know him or her know that they love and trust. And, you know, you kind of trigger me, but you open my eyes to a lot of false realities that I was living by, uh, this cheating or, uh, party life. It's not really the place you find love and trust. 
Let's see. You have unlimited uh, possibilities claim what belongs to you. Yeah. So this divine masculine was looking at a certain outlook or path, not knowing that there's unlimited alternative path or possibilities or opportunities to go by. So this may be something that's happening while they're revamping or reworking with the tower moment. They want this abundance. They want this fullness. Oh my gosh. So some of you may have kissed this person or they kissed you and that's how they know this, this is love. We have love runs so deep. A kiss is no longer just a kiss. It is a place where heaven and earth meet. <laughs> when they kiss you, they knew it. They felt it. We have online connection. So this may have been something that triggered this divine masculine, this, the distance, the space. <laughs> Always being online. This possibly was a deal breaker in the beginning. And it's like, you know what? Even if the, even if I have dated people in my area, in my vicinity, it didn't even fucking work. So this deal breaker, I might have to kind of like re rethink that. <laughs> yeah. You may have, uh, ex uh, explode some sort of, um, assumption this divine masculine had about online connections. Some of you, this person may have thought that you were catfishing them. You were too good to be true until they FaceTime you. This is a cyber love. <clears throat> this is a, a, a love match that started online. We have five, five, five. Remove yourself from the past so you could arrive at a better future. Embrace the change. So I feel like this is what this divine masculine is doing. It took them a while to kind of embrace this alternative uh, way of doing things. Oh my goodness. So what? <laughs> Let's talk about it. I want to watch your words turn into moans, accept my love. So you may be very chatty or you talk a lot or your, your mouth looks really cute or sexy and they just want to watch those words turn into moans. Yeah. They like it raw. I feel like this divine masculine wants to have raw sex. They want that raw passion or raw love energy from you. I'm worried that you're not worried. So some of you may be in the queen of swords energy and it's like you stated what you need to state and you were out. You're like deuces in this bitch, right? And they're like, what? Triggered. <laughs> so what they assumed about you has been exposed or crumbled. Remove yourself from the past so you could arrive at a better future. Embrace the change. So this may be what this divine masculine is doing currently. Trying to trust or have more patience, but they're still very disappointed in themselves that they let you go. I feel powerless in my situations. Looking at you makes me strong. Karmic cycles. So that could have been very triggering or, you know, it could have felt like this divine masculine was really attacked by how powerful this queen of uh, swords is. Too many risks to commit to the end game or end goal backing out. So that may have been the queen of swords energy. It was like too risky. It was too much of this back and forth power struggle mind games. Fuck that. I'm smarter than this shit. They don't put me here because I'm cute. They put me here because I'm smart. Some judge Judy shit, right? Somebody got their thinking cap on and decided to bail with all this karmic bullshit of the three of cups and the three of pentacles. The karmic doesn't trigger me. It's convenient for me. I don't expect you to understand. Yeah. They wanted to stay in a comfort zone, but it's stifling their growth. Their sacred, their sacred divinity. They know that they know that growth and abundance prosperity is coming to your doorstep. Three, three, three. And we have the fives and the threes here could be life path as well. It's nothing I could say to change things right now. All talk, no action, unanswered texts. That could be a part of not the right time. All right. This is, is something that's happening in this divine masculine's life. Some tower moments, some false realities are collapsing or exposing. And it's nothing they could do about it right now, but stand their ground. You know what I'm saying? Two, two, two things are shifting in your favor. Love, money, and success. One more card and we out this mugs. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you want to big up the hourglass, check out the description box below. I was in a place in my life I could not receive your love. So I ran to protect myself. Yeah. So that's the seven of wands. And the queen of swords was like, okay, that's how you want to do it. You little scary cat. Bye. I'm worried that you're not worried. So this person is worried. This divine masculine is worried that they have lost the true love of their life for good. I'll always keep you on a pedestal, up on a pedestal. Misery loves company, baby. Don't sweat these hoes. So there are hoes around. Mm. 
It's nothing I could say to change things right now. All talk, no action, unanswered texts. This is why this divine masculine is not communicating because they have to go through these tower moments. I'm sorry for not being there for you. They know what they did. They have awareness with the tower. Your ancestors celebrate every time you do the work healing through family trauma. So this is what this divine masculine is doing. They're breaking their cycle breakers. They are liberating themselves from any type of illusion, false realities, and their ancestors is praising the F out of them. All right, I feel like this divine mask is really connected to water elements. So they may be communicating or communing with their ancestors. This is a divine masculine that's very psychic. They have a lot of whispering going on. Or there's a whisper to this divine masculine. And they pay attention. They just don't show it. I woke, I woke up aroused in the morning. I can't help it. I just woke up and I want you. Yeah, they're masturbating. This could be a divine masculine that masturbates and manifests. So this could be someone that practices uh, sex magic by themselves. This is a divine masculine that kind of prides their ding -a -ling or they're for JJ. All right. Not everybody could jump on this magic stick. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. I'm telling you, they may date around or flirt around or whenever they do cheat, it's all protected sex. Or I feel like, um, they just know, they feel like not everybody could touch this dick. So they may flirt around and get people all crazy about them. But this queen of swords, she is very smart. She kind of separates her emotions from the truth, from the facts. And this is kind of tearing down kind of a, a perception of how this divine masculine viewed feminine energy. So <laughs> when the dust clears, I feel like this divine masculine is going to come with a surprise. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. If you did, big up on yourself, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Let's keep the Hourglass channel, the community growing as well. So I'm going to see you guys in the next channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.